Hello everyone, welcome back to the OG Rapport channel. I am Omar. I want to do a follow-up video today of a video that we uploaded to the channel a little over a year ago in which we showed you the selling prices of this first-gen Toyota RAV4s back during the pandemic. As you all know, the COVID-19 pandemic drove the prices of just about everything way high. Well, it's been a little while now, prices have cooled down a bit. So in case you're in the market for one of these first gen RAV4s, I wanna show you what they're currently selling for in different places in the United States. So let's get to it. Please be sure that you hit that like button. Please be sure that you subscribe to the channel and that you ring that bell so that you always get notified when we launch new videos. Before I show you the listings that I found, I want to give you the criteria that I use when trying to establish the true market value of a vehicle. The most important things that I've found are the location, the condition of the vehicle, the mileage of the vehicle, and the history, whether it has a clean title or not. What you want to do is you want to use applications like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, eBay, local classifieds, anything of that nature. And you want to try and find records of vehicles that actually sold. If you can find at the very minimum, three sold records in your area as you are trying to establish what the true market value of a vehicle is. That being said, I wasn't able to find any local listings here where I live, nowhere nearby within a, even a three hour radius. So I had to expand my search to include basically the entire country and also keep in mind the listings that I'm going to show you there for sale. What you want ideally is sold listings. Again, I struggled finding those, but you know, you got to do the best with what you got, right? So let's deep dive into the listings that I found. Okay, so I got a few listings that I want to show you here. So let's start with this one. This one is in a town called Thousand Oaks. You can tell they're asking $10,000 for this thing. It's a 97, 242,000 miles. And while it looks great, I mean, look at the pictures. You can tell this, this job, this paint job is brand new, obviously. I'm not a big fan of this red, but hey, you know, some of you might be interested. You can tell it has all-terrain tires except for the spare. So that's cool, right? But in my opinion, 10,000 in this market, no, nah, I don't think it's happening, especially because it's an automatic, like it says here, and it's a two wheel drive. They don't even have pictures of the interior. So I don't know, that red is a little too much for me. Let's see if they have a description. And uh, yep, yeah, it says right here, dealer fine print for used car sales, which would explain why they're asking 10,000 for this thing. Maybe if it was a four wheel drive, if it was the manual right, has the locking differential like many people want. Obviously, it looks taken care of on the outside, but I don't know, 10,000, it is in LA, so keep that in mind, but I don't think so. For a, for a 97 with this mileage, I really don't think so. Here's another red one, and you can tell that it still has the plastic panels. This, these actually look great. Uh, it's another 97. He says he has 200,000 miles. This is clear on the other corner of the country in Florida. It's been up for a while, 20 days. Clean title, so that's always a positive. Let's go through the pictures here. It can, you can tell it's been taken care of. I mean, it's in Florida, probably doesn't have any rust if it's spent all its life there. It has the tow connection, the hitch. These little vehicles weren't really made for towing, but I think you can tow up to 1500 pounds with them. So it's definitely clean, very well taken care of. And let's look at the inside. It looks like it comes with the manuals. There's the VIN information there. Here's what it looks like under the bay. It looks like it was detailed. Now this is nice, check this out. This is definitely not the original upholstery. To my knowledge, these vehicles never came with leather from the factory. I might be wrong. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but this you can tell have been reupholstered for sure, which is great. I think it's a great plus. Um, they look they look great. You can tell it's an automatic. And yeah, almost 211,000 miles. That's quite a big bump from 200,000 miles. It has the double sunroof, private cellar, clean title. So not a lot of information on it. 7380 um maybe it was the four-wheel drive again it's got really high mileage so yeah sure i mean 
it's a RAV4 is going to last forever, but keep in mind that it's a 25 year old vehicle more. It's going to need certain things replaced. It's just the way that things go, right? With time, parts deteriorate and you should expect to put some work into it regardless of how well it's been taken care of. So just keep that in mind. Let's go to the next one. Now this one's my favorite. I hope you guys love it too. And it's actually the cheapest one of the bunch. And I think the one that looks the best, honestly, it looks pretty aggressive. I don't know if this is your cup of tea, but it's certainly mine. It actually reminds me a lot of my RAV4. It's a 98. You can tell it has the more modern headlamps from the facelift that they did in 98. Also, the turning signals are bigger, just like that a year came with. Look at that bull bar. I think it looks excellent. It's got some KC fog lamps, which let me tell you, those are not cheap. And those are really nice. You can tell it has all-terrain tires and they look amazing they actually have a decent offset look how much they stick out so i think the stance of this thing is just nice it looks really really nice you can t it has aftermarket wheels and yeah you can tell there that it's they're all terrain tires this is also a convertible model you know that's a rarity on its own it's a two-door it's a convertible is the one that most people seek out it looks very well taken care of it's got black paint you can tell it has some dings around here's the back that wheel cover looks pretty nice also it has those you know updated rear tail lamps you can tell there's some paint work that's gone on the suspension so that looks really good it's a manual so it's a huge plus for most people they actually look in one of these in manuals unfortunately it doesn't look like it has the locking differential so i'm gonna go ahead and say this is probably a two-wheel drive system and it has manual windows so it's not like the quote-unquote fanciest model but hey you know most people don't really care about that well you can tell it's got some dings in the hood and the hood is faded compared to the rest so that might be why they're listing any cheaper. This is in Phoenix, Arizona, which makes sense why the hood is faded. Probably sat in the in, in the heat of Arizona for you know quite a while. This one doesn't look to have a li any listing information other than just the name of the guy who's selling it in Arizona. Looking at the price, looking at the miles, I think this is right in par with what the market is now. I would personally jump on this listing if I was in the market for a vehicle. So if any of you guys are interested, you know, the information of the guy is right there. Just go to offer up and uh, you can probably find it there. Let's look at the next one. Now this one is the most expensive of the bunch. It is in New York and it looks like it's in New York City actually. So that kind of makes sense. Now the things that this one has going for it, it is the all wheel drive model. I think is the only one that we've seen so far that is. It is a manual, 190,000 miles, but as you have seen from the rest, this this is basically the trend, right? This 200,000 miles average. It's a 96, so it's the very first edition that was available in the US. $12,000, I'll let you decide if that's steep or not. For me, that is steep, but let me show you. You can tell that somebody really loved this vehicle and put a lot of love into it. There's some LED light right there. You can see the seats. You can tell that this person has upgraded the headlamps. You can tell this one has the newer headlamp style from 98 and also the tail lights. Look at that. Those are the upgraded ones. This person, my understanding is that it has power coated the wheels. It comes with the roof rack. It actually has like a little spoiler in the back. That looks pretty good. The paint looks to be in good shape. Here's a picture of the inside, an aftermarket stereo system. It is indeed a manual, and this person has even changed the lighting on the dash. So that looks pretty cool. You, you can see how it looks from the back right there. It's got a little wheel cover. This person has dumped a lot of money into this vehicle. Supposedly, and I remember reading this listing, he's dropped about $15,000. You know, it's, it's got a new suspension, KYB suspension. It's got a new speakers with a subwoofer, Apple CarPlay with quality stereo, fog lights, KYB shocks, all LEDs. He has also done quite a bit of maintenance, new battery, alternator, the timing belt kit and water pump, which by the way, based on my other video, you guys might remember that these jobs aren't cheap. And he's got receipts for all, all the work. So that's something that you definitely want especially because this person looks to be extremely firm in his price. 12,000 firm, 
No Dreamers invested 15,000 into it. So based on all the money that he says he has put into it, it might be worth it. You know, these, these are obviously rarities, especially for someone that has taken such great care of it. I personally don't think I would, I would pay more than nine for this. But again, keep in mind, it has a lot of goodies and somebody's put a lot of love into it. Let me show you the last one before I show you a bonus one. And this one is uh, back in California, American Canyon. 237,000 miles, says he has a clean title. They're asking almost 10 grand for it, 97.50. I hate those wheels, personally, I think they look ugly. This one's an automatic. It looks, based on the buttons here, this one looks, it might be a, a, a four-wheel drive, I really don't know. Um, but it doesn't have the locking differential, we can see that. These are the buttons for those fog lamps. Automatic transmission. Now this one, while the body looks in, to be in okay shape, the paint is definitely struggling. Look at that fade and that fender right there. And on the door, you can tell the hood is also pretty faded. This one's probably sat also in, in the sun quite a bit. And yeah, you can see a lot of fading on this side as well. Yeah, that paint's not doing too hot. Just on that alone, I'd say no way this thing is worth $97.50. I would take at least half you know and that's i think even that is still being pretty generous nice wheel cover you know but it doesn't really have anything exciting going for it let's read the description let's see only about three oh he's just giving you historical facts so yeah that doesn't raise the that doesn't raise the value of it at all so he doesn't really give you any useful information other than no accidents, some digs and scratches, but it is presentable. Well, we've seen all those. Now let me show you a rare specimen. Now the reason why this is a bonus one and I don't want you to use it to calculate the true market value is because this one's a JDM. Now we're talking an import vehicle. There's a whole different ballpark and it only has 47,000 miles. It's a right-hand drive. So you can't really compare it to the other ones because this one's a more rare of a puppy. And also it was posted over a year ago. So the market was completely different back then. This was all the way in a town called Caddy, Texas. I actually know this guy, I actually spoken with him. He imports vehicles and sells them in Texas. You can tell this one already has Texas plates, which means that he's taking care of all the paperwork of the import for you and it's actually title and register. And it looks great. Look at that, look at that paint, it just really shines. He does have that front bumper that is very common when people import these, they come with those. Especially this guy, he puts those Bosch fog lights on him. I think they look horrible, I think they look cheap, but you know, if you don't like him, you can always take him off. And yeah, look at that. This is a right-hand vehicle, a manual for that matter, and it does have electric windows. And you can see here, yep, that little button right there, that is the center locking differential. So it's got the trifecta, nice looking steering wheel, and it's got only 47,000 miles. So if this was still for sale, man, this is a, uh, especially when you compare it with what the other people are asking, I think the price is totally, totally, worth it let's read a little bit five speed manual 47,000 miles full bar rear step bar selling for cash clean title in hand anyway i wanted to show you this one because if you guys are in the market for a jdm there's actually quite a few people who do this they import the vehicles and they sell them here there's some companies who do this in oregon and in washington you can pay a broker to do this for you they take care of all the paperwork they purchase the vehicle of your choosing they import it they take care of all the transaction and give you everything so they can just go title and register it right everyone that's gonna wrap up today's video i hope you find it helpful obviously prices have fluctuated if you're not in the United States, you can apply this formula to wherever you live. Again, just remember you want at a minimum three listings, preferably of sold listings, right? Of what people actually paid for the vehicles. You want them to be in your locality, right? As close as you can, hopefully no more than a two hour drive. You want to consider things like the mileage of the vehicle, the condition, the year, does it have a clean title or not? Make sure that you take it to a mechanic 
or if you're mechanically inclined, make sure that you inspect it yourself. Please let me know in the comments your thoughts. You can also send me an email to theograp4 at gmail.com. Please let me know, have you bought a first gen Toyota RAV4? What did you pay for it? Do you think that you paid too much? Or do you think that you got a good deal? I look forward to hearing from you guys and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. We would appreciate your support. Until then, guys, thank you very much.